Hi everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Anna, and my channel name is Only In My Dreams. So today, I'm in the backyard sitting here. Definitely need to get a new umbrella for this chair. It's served us very well for the past three years, and it definitely needs a new one. I'm thinking if I wanna get one of those, what they call sails, they go from one end of the deck to the other versus just getting an umbrella. I'm trying to figure it out. I see there's a little spider hanging for dear life over there underneath the uh, underneath of this um, umbrella. Hopefully I don't have any spiders or anything in me. <laughs> so it's a beautiful day out. Um, I'm here with the kids. Did a little work up there on the front of the house. Um, clearing up some leaves away from my rosemary bush. She was suffering. Um, she started getting those little spots on her and um, I felt that it was because of the leaves. I wasn't allowing it to get enough moisture. I know it could also be other things, but that's what I'm leaning towards. And I fed her with a concoction that I saw um, that was recommended um, that I made with uh, orange peels, lemon peels, and a couple of tea bags that I let sit and, you know, you shake it up, you know, several times a day. For a few days and then I drained it and then I gave it to the rosemary bush to see if that would help um, we'll see we'll see if it'll help I also was making a list of things that I want to try to grow slash plant I know we are past February I know I'm kind of late to the game but you guys it's never too late to grow food it doesn't matter if you try to do it indoors or outdoors, it's just never too late, honestly. Um, just try, you know. You may, you may miss out on an opportunity to grow some food when, you know, you think, oh, I'm, oh, it's too late, I can't plant. You can always plant. You can always plant and see what happens, okay? And trust me, I do that. And um, I was making a list of things that my family likes to eat because I don't want to plant a whole bunch of stuff that we're not going to consume. So I made a list this morning and things that we like to eat, trying to figure out how to grow those, like garlic. So I need to look at some videos for that on how to grow garlic. And um, I looked up trees that we can plant in the state of Maryland. There's a lot of hardy nut trees that can grow in our zone, is zone A and B. And um, also there are a handful of fruit trees that can be grown in zone A and zone B that um, would do well. And I was thinking about trying to get a Meyer lemon tree, even though it's not recommended for this zone. I would leave it in a pot and then bring it in during the winter um, and do it that way. So I'm thinking about doing that. I wouldn't mind trying to grow some eucalyptus. I'm not too sure how to do that. I don't know, I'm such a beginner at everything. I really am. But I have a list of things that I wanna do. And this morning, um, I was working in my kitchen, trying to clear off some of my counter space. Uh, it got really, really bunged up a little overwhelming I have a lot of stuff that I just didn't need there anymore I wasn't using and I was ready to let it go you know things that I'm like okay we're not gonna use this I can just let this go so it felt good cleaning up the counter space it did and I'm still not done um, I gotta go back up there and do the other half and go through those things and see what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep so that was nice it feels good having a little bit more counter space to work with and um, then I have to uh, deal with moving some of my longer term storage foods into containers. Um, and I have some of the buckets already in the kitchen. So I just need to make sure that they're clean. And then I could put some of my spices that are already, you know, the ones that you buy that have a far enough, far enough date out, like 2025 just put them in the buckets and put labels on the buckets so you know what's in there so you don't forget and I'll be using see that spider is coming down honey it's like the itsy bitsy spider I'm just looking at it 
It's a little windy. I just don't want it to drop over here on top of me. <laughs> I'll be like, ah! Uh, I've been bitten by so many spiders in my life. It's crazy. It's crazy. My, my family calls me the spider woman because I've been bit so many times. It's, it's nuts. Um, I'm not your typical person. Has been, I've been bit over eight times. Spiders like me. And I'm looking at the backyard. And we were looking at the front yard. And uh, we were, you know, discussing what we want to do. And our front yard is very uneven, unleveled. It has lots of dips. And um, we are wanting to level that out and hire people to put down some sod so the front looks really pretty because it's like a hot mess up there in the front right now. It really and truly is. In the back, not so much. There is a section where our sump pump um, jets the water out and that part is just, it's always like a mud pit um, unless we have some dry days like right now it's dry. But um, yeah, we need to do something about that maybe have um, incorporate some kind of draining system that we don't have to necessarily see and let it drain out to two different parts of the um, of the backyard. That's something to think about. So we can walk over that whole huge section without getting our feet stuck in there when we're trying to um, do the lawn or something. And then I'm looking at because our backyard is it's sunny but it's not sunny all day long so I'm thinking places where I want to plant some of these things that I want to do um, are they gonna work better back here or in the front like where in the front because this is an HOA area so there are lots of rules that's a homeowners association so there's a lot of rules of things that you can and can't do um, and if we do plant back here I would want to probably do a potting system, some type of potting system, or um, because we do have squirrels and all, the, our squirrels, they were just going to town with the stuff that we were growing last year. They were just taking our food, looking at us while they were eating it. <laughs> just squirrels, man, they ain't no joke. And um, I was growing cucumbers ate all my cucumbers and they were coming in really nice man they killed my cucumbers they ate my tomatoes and we got to a couple of them but man so now we know that we have to uh, don't get the boys wet turn off the water it's not it's not hot enough for that turn off the water right now so we know that we need to protect whatever we grow and let me tell you, wire is not cheap. Wire to cover your plants and stuff ain't cheap. So, um, and it's a pain trying to work with wire too. And it just doesn't look pretty. Aesthetically, it doesn't look pleasing. So whatever we do with wire is gonna have to be done back here just so we don't get, you know, a letter or, or something from the HOA so you know you can't have that outside in front. So there's a lot of limits as to what you can do that they can visually see. So that's something that we always have to um, keep in mind. And I see a big bush is growing over here next to our deck that we're gonna have to remove too. I know I'm just sitting out here making notes of everything that we need to take care of and handle. This deck needs to be um, cleaned and repainted it has seen lots of better days. It really and truly has. And I'm not too sure why that one section right there is like really dirty. I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna have to look into that. Why does that look like that? And I need to get, I think I'm gonna do the sale. I just need to get my husband to take the dimensions of the deck and order that seal. They sell them on Amazon.com. It's like an, uh, goes on a stick over here and a stick over there. And then the fabric goes like this. So it covers like the majority of the deck, which will be nice, especially during a hot summer. 
so we can come out here and be a lot cooler and still enjoy being outside. Yeah, so I think that's I think that's the way I'm gonna the direction I'm gonna go in. Well, I'm going to I have my diamond my diamond kit here. I'm going to start working on my diamond kit. So I'm gonna let you guys go because I think we'll probably be out here for maybe another half an hour. So I'm going to try to enjoy a little downtime and doing something for me. So I'm going to talk to you guys later and have a great day. Bye.